enough inventory to get you through the season. Make an educated guess based on the data of, okay, how many people, how many of these, what days are they going to sell? Um, do I have enough inventory to say to sell at least one a day for the whole Q4 period, and depending on when you send it in. So if it's Christmas and you're sending it in the beginning of October, then you or the mid October, maybe, and then you've got two and a half months to work with, you know, and, and if your cutoff is like maybe five days before Christmas, depending on, I always use Christmas as the example, it just seems easier, but this applies to every holiday, right? So um, if it's Thanksgiving, whatever else, you want to leave yourself like a three day buffer, if it's going to be used like on that day, um, you have to think about those things, what you're selling, is it and what day is it most likely to be used? I mean, you you're, don't usually sell Christmas light. You sell Christmas lights early because people start decorating for Christmas early, like November. Uh, sometimes people at the beginning of November, it's like uh, the, as soon as Halloween's over, they have like their Christmas stuff up. They just skip fall altogether or, or Thanksgiving altogether. Anyway, so you have to think about when people are going to use said items. So like a, a table cover and a centerpiece is generally used on or around the holiday. Like people have Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving. So you still have a couple days buffer before the holiday to people ordering it last minute. But generally speaking, there's certain things like the decor items or like Christmas lights. People are putting those up early. So probably by like late December, people aren't buying lights and putting them up anymore. I mean, people buy lights for all kinds of reasons all year round, just so you know. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, you got to get that stuff in early thinking about when the customer is going to use it and how long do you have to send it in. So timing of specific inventory is essential. But then you have things like Halloween candy, where Halloween candy goes on clearance like the day after Halloween, and people buy that stuff until it's gone. Because candy, like, yeah, it has an expiration date, but like, no one cares if your Hershey Kisses are wrapped in like orange and purple or red and green. Hershey Kisses are Hershey Kisses. And if you're anything like me, a bag of Halloween Hershey Kisses won't last 10 minutes anyway. So who cares what they're wrapped in? You know, most of the time the companies just change the colors and there's certain holiday flavors and things, which we will talk about in the Q4 Jumpstart class. Uh, mommyincome.com slash jumpstart. We will talk about specific things to sell during the holidays. And I get very specific about stuff. Um, because so, so many things that people miss um, for the holidays. They're just things that they just don't pay attention to. There's also sporting events and other really big major na nationwide events that happen during Q4 that people don't pay attention to. And especially this year coming off of a pandemic um, and having things subside and things like that and people vaccinated, uh, there's going to, events are going to be back and uh, that opens up a whole new world of products to sell based on those things. So uh, 